Hi, welcome back to Huffle the Garage. So today we're here to put transom wheels on my dinghy. So I actually bought from the Brist store the dinghy wheels. And that's what we'll be installing today. As of right now, it's like 28 degrees. And we're about to do this and then we're going to take it out on the lake. So please enjoy our video. I'm going to show you this box open. First we have our hardware. And on this one, this one has the inflated wheels, which are good for rough terrain and sand. more hardware those are the plates for the arms the other set on the other side and there's our second wheel as well and believe it or not this did not come with instructions so As we're going to have to piece it together. So after looking at our mounts, uh, we're going to have to do some small modifications for this dinghy. Uh, when we set this up on here, our bolt holes that go through the bottom side will actually end up coming through on this plate, which locks down into the floor. So to get the bolts and the nuts with the washers to fit, we're going to pop holes into this aluminum piece a little above and then that way we can mount it all up without getting in the way. As you can see, we got our holes drilled. Uh, if you look at our other video, we'll show you a little clip. These are the wheels that we put on the white dinghy and their mounts are much smaller and we didn't have to do any modifications to mount them. But for this one and how tall they are, we didn't have to do that modification. So we're gonna pop our holes in our transom and get it mounted up. So I'm going to just set it in there and use a pencil to mark our holes. So because I eyeballed these holes, I'm going to make sure they stay on the right side. So this one's for the left. So I'm just going to put an L on there and make sure this one goes on the left side because I did eyeball those holes. The bolts used in this is a quarter inch, so you're going to use a quarter inch drill bit to pop them holes and then run your bolts through. Quite take that butt cut number off. That's good. All right, let's mock this up real quick. And there's how it looks with the bolts in it. Now we do need to go through and put glue silicone around so that way water doesn't intrude upon. 
And on the back side, looks pretty good. Doesn't look like we're gonna have any issues there. All right. So to mount this up, we actually have marine grade silicone. Uh, if you don't need, live near a lake, some places don't carry marine grade stuff, but flex glue is a good alternative choice. It is waterproof and you can use this as well. But since we have the marine silicone, that's what we're going to use. But basically, since I have such a large bottle, we are going to go fully around this and put a little extra around the holes. That way it all seals up and there is no water intrusion. So we got our left side mounted, we're about to mount up to our right side. So the hole number ID is placed twice on this thing, on the back of the transom and on the front plate. So to mount this dinghy wheel mount here, we're going to pull this off and relocate it to the side somewhere and it'll still be tagged with the hole number ID. It's just held in by two little, I would call them almost finishing nails. So we'll relocate that once we get the wheels back on. All right, so our last step after you get your pieces mounted is you're gonna take your arm, you're gonna have bolts, it's got spacers, and your tire. So with this one, you're gonna take off your nut and your washer, set those to the side. And on these, I'm going to put the valve stem out so the bolt will go through on the valve stem side. And then that's what it looks like with it all the way through. Take your arm, slide it up on the bolt. And this is where you're going to replace the washer and the nut. And kind of the nice part about this one compared to our other dinghy wheels, this one you can't realistically over tighten to where the wheel won't spin because of the spacers, but don't over tighten it too much because obviously some of these parts are plastic and you do not want to bust them. kind of gets tight seeing that these are nylon nuts locking nuts you don't have to go on incredibly tight they will hold and there you have it the wheel spins 
And then you just have your two pins that lock into here to put them onto the dinghy. And we'll show you that. As you can see, that's how we launch with our new transom wheels. We're about to take it out for a spin. Like and subscribe and follow the rest of our videos. And we'll show you some more dinghies and days out at the lake.